Tina Turner's dead, buddy. She sure is. Yeah. So in the end, natural. R.I.P. Yeah. No, no, I K E. <laughs> right? That was nice. Beautiful, right? That was fast. Hey, right, come on, baby. That, that was, was fast. Uh, I K E. She lived in Switzerland. She lived in Zurich. She got she got out while the game was good, huh? Good for her. She was rolling, 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 rolling. She was a tremendous talent. Dude, tremendous indeed. Did you see her muscles? That was like the first woman bodybuilder that I no, like noticed. Like, like I that was the first woman that I looked at. Like, dude, why is she really? so muscular? Yeah. You I know never what noticed I'm, it. No. Dude. Yeah, Thunderdome. Um, welcome to the Thunderdome, motherfucker. Bitch. Yeah, um, she was in Mad Max, exactly. Um, and I think she got in great shape for that role. And then she went on and did some type of late night TV. It might have been like one of Carson's last years or something like that. Um, and dude, she's like comes out with that dress that's like really like flimsy stuff, and she's muscular. <laughs> oh, she was muscular dope. with that weird blonde hair, dude. You know what I mean? And um, two guys, two guys, two black men that. America, uh, that white media took down in this world. And let me tell you who Joe Jackson and Ike Turner, that is two guys that brought the world talent. And, and because they were hard men, they got the worst, they got the worst rap that I've ever heard, dude, ever. Seriously. Really? Yes. I don't know anything about this. You've never <clears throat> seen what's love got to do with it. I just know Lawrence that. Fishburne? No, no, man. Never seen it. Okay, all right. I got two for you. Okay? I just know that so, Ike was was a rough dude <laughs> and he used to beat the shit out of her a lot. I mean, Ike was an old school dude from the South. I mean, I listen. I, I Sometimes you have to give him a little slap. A little slap. A little shoe. <laughs> the old Sean Connery. A little shoe across the mouth. <laughs> um, so uh, here's the thing. Joe Jackson spanked his kids. Joe Jackson had the, the Jackson 5, one of the... the most amazing talented groups that ever came out of music. Yep. Okay. I'm talking not just Michael. And then what and then and then this byproduct of the Jackson Five, who was born with music in his soul, became the biggest thing ever. We were just talking about him early in the thing. Right. Ike Turner, listen, like like Tina Turner, they did this movie where I, Lawrence Fishburne was like the biggest piece of shit that ever walked through. He was Ike Turner, right? Um, she would have been living, I'm not even joking, she lived in like some mud house. And then she moved in down south with her with her family, and they went out one night to some club, and they met Ike, and he turned her into a superstar. That's why she lives in Zurich. That's why she was born in like Mississippi, no and shit. now she was skiing in Zurich before she passed away. Okay, I don't look at Ike like you know. Look, I, listen, was he an abusive prick? Maybe, but I mean, she should Maybe. be she should be thanking every day she ever knew him, every single day. Every day she should so be So he like that. beat her to greatest. No, well, he first he took her and then they got together. Yeah. And then Ali Mae. And then he uh <laughs> and then he would I guess he would whip her ass in front of friends and stuff like pretty bad. This I sounds guess, awful. I guess like I listen, I'm not <laughs> At least she got paid, I guess, but still That's what I'm trying to say. I I can promise you this, dude. If you would walk up to her and you'd say Tina, before her listen, 82 <clears throat> years old, like, listen, Tina, you're about to die next year. I'm a genie. I could snap my fingers right now. You could go back now, maybe for the time, right? But I could, but 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 she still live it all again. You could go back and you could never meet Ike Turner, and you could live your life however that would have turned out. Or you go back again and you can meet Ike Turner and everything be the same, and you and you end up the same. She's gonna go, Ike. Maybe, Ike. yeah. That no, that would actually be a very interesting question to have asked her, dude. And they, they, and Joe Jackson spanked Michael with a belt, and the uh, the Jacksons, the American Dream. They painted him honestly like the biggest monster that ever lived, dude. Yeah, yeah. But wasn't he? No. <laughs> He, dude, if my dad pushed me one percent of the way that he like saw talent in those kids, no, he's a good dad that made his kids work. I That's thought he used it. to beat the shit out of him no. and like throw him in the in the in the the fireplace and hey, shit. Nick, hey Nick, let me tell you something. All right, we we were just discussing this. Okay, um, what do people love to tell you about their how hard they had it? Right, always. Okay, especially guys well off as the Jacksons, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. How bad do you think it really was, dude? Honestly, I can't imagine. I don't think it was bad at all. I think I think he was mean, and I think and and I. When did they have time? What was he? When was he kicking the shit out of him? When they were doing world tours? Dude, that's a good question, dude. No. I don't know. Actually, I, I don't what, know. When, I don't know. You're making some good points, but it's like common knowledge that it was brutal or whatever. I'm just so it's it's like hard to dismiss it. I, look, but you might be right, dude. I'm telling you, I'm right. 
These were two guys <laughs> that it's easy to, they needed a bad guy for these movies. Cause, cause it's always like, you know, they, they, they so overcome they the overstated. adversity and everything. Yes, yeah. dude. It's like, it's like, it's like, okay. D- before, because this one might be the cancel, cancel big time. Okay. Before I say this, I just want you to know it wasn't uncommon when I was growing up that dudes smacked their old lady. Like I grew up. No, that a, was pretty normal. Yeah. I, I grew up in, and, and I hate to say it was I, normal. I grew up in a house like that. Mm-hmm. And, and my, yeah. Oh, oh Georgie. Georgie, <laughs> Georgie Porgy, I fell down the stairs. <laughs> It's gold. <laughs> so I'm just saying, it's like you got this old school dude with old school values, and they want to do Tina Turner's life, and they're like, "Okay, tell us what happened to you. Like, like tell us like what went on in your life." And she's like, "Okay, I was a star. I came from nothing. How was Ike? Well, I guess you know he was he got a little rough sometimes, but um, but Ike was good, and I and I and I thank God for my career and meeting him. Got him. Got she him. Says that. Huh? She said that? No, I'm saying that when they were writing the movie. Oh. The movie would have been boring if it was just Tina oh, Turner. Oh, I see. I see. Girl from, girl from uh, They're Mississippi. like, this won't sell. Yes. This won't sell. Do you feel me? Mm-hmm. They need a bad guy. There has to be a villain in these movies. And they took Ike Turner, who produced her and, and, and gave her everything that she ever wanted to become a big star and stuff like that. And you take the Jackson, Joe Jackson. You think Mama Jackson would have made the Jackson 5? No. Are you shitting me? So, so it's like, dude, it's like... Put some respect on these guys, man. For real. I'm sorry. Like, none of this would have existed without these abusive cocksuckers. Yes. Sorry. (laughs) Dude, you you ever see Trophy Kids? You ever seen that documentary? No. Uh, Ronda Rousey's mom was like, like a trophy mom, like, like you better win. You do everything. Some people, she'd be in the gym at like three in the morning. Or, and if she messed, she missed or made up or something like that. She'd have to run an extra two miles or something like that. People call that abuse. I call that a dedicated parent. Well, I'm weird enough. like that. I'm weird like fair that. Fair enough. You know? That's like a Roy Jones Jr.'s dad. Roy Jones Jr.'s dad was like yeah. super brutal yeah. to him and like and like put him in there with like heavy weights. And, and like, I bet he thank God. He's thank the best God fighter that ever walked. Every day that he ever, yeah. I he's bet the best he fighter that ever walked every single they don't, day. They don't talk. Yeah. So you, you they feel don't me? Talk. Okay. Well, you but know. But he what? loves him. He's like, he's like, we're just like two strong headed guys. We yeah. don't talk. Like, but he understands. How about this? How about this? <clears throat> And I bet you Senior was probably like, hey, listen, you know what's funny? I was going to ask his name and I'm like, Roy Jones Jr. Yeah, it's Roy Senior. Okay, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> I, I, was, uh, um, I was thinking, it's like, I bet in his mind, he's like, he can hate me, but he's the greatest that ever lived. Probably. And there you go. Probably. And that's all I wanted for him. Mm-hmm. And that's it. You know what I mean? I don't know. That's interesting. Yeah. It's like. I would love to do a deep dive on that and find out the truth about these people. Yeah. That'd be fun. Like sometimes, dude, it's like you, 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 your kids grow up and they got problems and stuff like that. And the first thing you ask is like. Did I hold him too much? Did I not hold him enough? Right. Did I, did, did, should I have pushed him? Should I have not pushed him? Did I push too hard? It's like you ask these questions, stuff like that. When you're a brutal, like want everything good for your kid, like Asian dads, mm-hmm. like, you know, like, well, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, look at Asian them. and Indian dads. Yeah. I, well, Asian American and, and, and Indian American dads, like, because those are the kids that succeed and stuff like that. There's still plenty of pieces of shit dads back in India and China Oh, yeah, and shit like sure. That. Yeah, only the best come sure. here to like go to university, you know what I mean? But that's all I'm saying. I'm, I'm just saying it's like, it's like I remember watching that and, and, and I remember her meeting him in the club and her being head over heels and stuff like that and they're famous and they got all sorts of money and, Bam and gives her one right, pow right in the kisser. Pow right in the kisser. You know, bang zoom. And and he wanted her. You know, and uh, here's how it went down. She was talking or something like that, and and really annoying him. And he hit her. And the truth is, is don't annoy him. (laughs) I'm just joking. (laughs) That's the truth. I swear to God, I'm just joking. I swear to God, I'm just joking about that last bit. How about a little bit of silence? (laughs) Yes. Oh yeah. Would it kill you to shut up? Oh, I thought you meant you wanted to do a 30 second silent for Tina Turner. No. You know? No. I loved Ike's hair. He had the he had, he had a uh, a wig and he would do you know the bowl cut? Oh yes. Yeah. yeah. Dude, uh, do I? Homie, flat all the way across. And he's gangster. He's gangster. He's I gotta look up a picture. It's funny because it's like you watch this guy come out in this bedazzled, sparkling suit, and this fool will throw you up against the wall and funk the shit Shug out. He's like, you. man, yeah. Should not you um, up. I, the realest thing that I ever heard the game say. You know how I told you I like the game from Compton. Yeah. Am I talking too of much? I'm no, no, no. You're okay. good. Please. The, the, one of the greatest things that I ever heard the game say. He's like, you know, it's like people think about Los Angeles. And he's like in the in the eighties and nineties, and he's like, and they think like 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 you know rags and like gangbang throwing up signs. 
lines and low riders and stuff like that. He's like, dude, he's like, these people will be over at my house Friday night with cut off shirts, see through with their nipples going, what? doing the electric slide in the living room. Don't mean they're not gangsters. No, but still, it's just, it's like, you couldn't even imagine that other exactly. side. Exactly. You know what crazy. I mean? That's crazy. And, 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 then, and then the next day they'd be at the park doing meetings in the park and stuff like that, banging, shooting, doing drive-bys and stuff like that. Huh. But it's like, dude, it's like, everybody likes colors. Everybody likes to dress up and go dancing sometimes. Right. They're, they're you know, they're, they're, they're still people. Yeah, the Prince Entourage. The Prince Entourage. Oh, you'd be the shirts, we'd be the blouses. <laughs> shirts against the blouses. Yeah. Game. Oh my God, that was blouses. too funny. Bitches. Blouses. Bitch. <laughs> maybe you should take a, a, a trip to Lake Minnetonka, or maybe you should, what did he say? I forgot. Say it. Purify yourselves in the waters of Lake Minnetonka. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Purify yourselves in the, in waters, the waters of Lake Minnetonka. Minnetonka. Oh, that was so funny, dude. Gold. That was too funny, man. 